Hello everyone and once again welcome back to the online spoken English classes. In the previous session we had dealt with the degrees of comparison of adjectives with the use of ER and EST more and most and also some irregular adjectives. In this session we would be going through some common errors. The errors that we generally make while we use adjectives. Let us have a look at some sentences. There is a little hope of his recovery. There is little hope of his recovery. So, what do you see? Are the two sentences the same? Do they mean the same? Actually, no. They don't mean the same. There is a difference between the two sentences. Yes, you must be thinking that only with the use of a before little, how the meaning changes. So, let me tell you. Little means almost nothing. A little means something though not much. So when we say that there is little hope of his recovery, we mean he is not likely to recover. There is no hope of his recovery. But when we say there is a little hope of his recovery, then we mean that he may possibly recover, that there is a hope of his recovery. So this is the major difference between the two sentences. At the same time, let us have a look at a sentence. The little information he had was not quite reliable. The little. The little means not much but all there is. So, the sentence means whatever little information he had was not quite reliable. So, I hope that this difference between little, a little and the little must be clear to you. Now moving forward, let us see another common error that we generally make. Let us have a look at some more sentences. There were few listeners. There were a few listeners. There were the few listeners. So, the three sentences might sound same to some of you, but all the three have a different meaning. So, for example, there were few listeners. From few, we mean hardly any. There were hardly any listeners. There were a few listeners. A few means some. Few, a few has a positive meaning. So, we say there were some listeners. The few. There were the few listeners. The few means not many, but all there are. So, with the few, we mean the exact number of the listeners. There were the few listeners. Now, let us have a look at the difference between later, latter, that is L-A-T-E-R, later, and L-A-T-T-E-R, latter, as well as latest and last. So, when we say later, L-A-T-E-R, and latest, 
we refer to time. He is later than I expected. I have not heard the latest news. And when we say later, L A T E R, and last, we refer to position. The latter chapters are lacking in interest. The last chapter is carelessly written. Another error that we generally make is between elder and eldest and older and oldest. So let us look, have a look at the two sentences so that we may understand them better. Rama is dashed to hurry by two years. So will it be older or will it be elder? It will be Rama is elder to hurry by two years. But let me make it very clear that here we might have used older also. But the construction of the sentence might have changed them. It would have been Rama is older than Hari by two years. We use older than or we use elder to. We can use both these words in terms of human beings. Let us have a look at the other sentence. The Dash Mosque in the town is near the railway station. So, will it be oldest or will it be eldest? This will be oldest. The oldest mosque in the town is near the railway station. So, here we see that we don't use eldest in terms of non-living things. We use elder, eldest only with persons. We do not use these words with animals or things. Older and oldest can be used with persons as well as things. Now we see nearest and next. We often use them interchangeably as we don't seem to understand that there is a difference between the two. Let me make it clear with the help of two sentences. This is the dash post office to my house. Will it be nearest or will it be next? This is the nearest post office to my house. Whereas in the other sentence, his house is dash to mine. His house is next to mine. Nearest means the shortest distance away. Next refers to the things in sequence coming after one another. For example, Mumbai is the seaport nearest to Europe. That means it is not just next or coming just after but it is it has a very short distance to Europe. My uncle lives in the next house which means my uncle lives in the very next house in the sequence to my house. Kareem's shop is next to the post office, which means that Kareem's shop is just after the post office. Now, we often seem to confuse with much and many. Many customers or much customers. Which one is correct? 
many customers much is used with quantity and many with number much is used with uncountables and many with countables or when you are able to count the number of people and so on for example much work much trouble so this is uncountable and when we say many children this means that the children are countable and hence we use many before children now one more thing that i would like to tell you in terms of adjectives is the comparative degree of adjectives is usually followed by than to make comparison example rahul runs faster than dinesh however the following a few exceptions to this that is we don't always use than while we compare there are a few exceptions which you need to repeat after me junior 2 inferior 2 superior 2 preferable 2 elder 2 Here is example of this he is junior to me and we don't say he is junior than me so these were some words with which we use to to make comparison and not then so in this session we have dealt with the common errors that we generally make while the use of some adjectives for example a little little and the little a few few the few much many nearest next and so on thank you for listening to the class and we will soon be back with some more new interesting lessons for you